we pray, oh Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for raising up Martin Luther to call the church back to the gospel, to the pure word of God. And we pray that you may continue to raise up men to call the church back to you, to all of its truth and purity. And we pray that you may have mercy upon us, send out faithful pastors who are willing and to proclaim the one and only message of our salvation. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. He saved all of us on the cross. And we pray that you may give Salem then the strength to hold to your word in all of its truth and purity. For we ask this in our Savior's blessed name. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we pray for Jack Hudson and for Leon O'Neill and his family and for Ned Pennell and Richard Sumter and Luda Wallace and Cindy Herman. Be with these individuals uh, and, and their families as they uh, mourn the loss of loved ones and as they recover from surgery and as they do battle with cancer. Sustain them and strengthen them, and if it be your will, restore them to health. But above all, we pray that they may fight the good fight of faith, finish their course, and receive from you a crown of life. And Heavenly Father, we pray for the armed forces, the men and women who are serving our country, and in particularly those who have given their last measure of courage to our country. We pray sustain the families and comfort them and bless the leaders of the various countries around the world with wisdom and to enact fair and just laws so that your gospel may have free course and be preached to the joy and edifying your holy people. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who are being persecuted for their faith. Give them the strength to endure. And we are asking your blessing upon Salem as she contemplates her building plans. We pray grant her wisdom and bless her efforts. Uh, that whatever the decision is, that she may go forward with Christ with confidence. These are whatsoever things you would have us to ask of thee, O Lord, grant unto us for the sake of the bitter sufferings and death of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly meet, right, and solitary that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who with thine only begotten Son and the Holy Ghost art one God, one Lord. And the confession of the only true God, we worship the Trinity in person, of the unity and substance of majesty co-equal. Therefore, with angels and archangels, all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our 
our Lord Jesus Christ the same night in which he had betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped or when he had given thanks, he gave them and said, Take drink. This cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as oft as he drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
give thanks to the Almighty God that thou hast refreshed us through this salutary gift. And we beg you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same in faith towards you, in fervent love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. The Lord be with you. Bless we the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.